You know, one of the things we love about Pennsylvania is even a month or two after trout season starts, kind of like it is right now, you can still get into some really nice fish. If you got good bait and you're set up properly, and Tristan's gonna show you our last five minutes here. Look at these beautiful rainbow trout. We're gonna put them right back in the water, let them live another day so somebody else can enjoy catching them. You are free, my buddy. See you later. Just awesome trout. Let another one go here. Just a banner day. We've seen nice rainbows, nice browns, and we're hoping to find ourselves a special golden as well. Look at that. Fish after fish here in beautiful Pennsylvania. Your drag loose? What a giant loud brown. Oh my gosh. It's a giant loud brown. The giant. Oh, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Oh, That's a Pennsylvania wild brown. Yeah, baby. I... Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Came all the way from Northern California to come to Pennsylvania hoping to catch a wild brown trout. He's gonna have to swing around and go to the other side because we got yet another double. Thank you, Oop. sir. Hello. Two beautiful rainbows. Easy, oh, easy. Oh, Get that net. I got no the way. Net. He came in and crushed that net. natural. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. He ain't in the net yet. Yeah. But he is now. Yeah. He is now. Yeah. He is now. Yeah. That son of a gun! Oh, yeah. Woo. yeah! Look at that! My first ever golden rainbow! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> and that's why we come to Pennsylvania. Yeah. The best part about what just happened here with yeah, Mick getting his first golden ever is we were told there were no goldens left in this stream. Uh, we've been here for five days, did not catch a single golden in five days. We saw four goldens. <laughs> Out of the 10 different places we fished, they wouldn't look at anything. Now, Mick found this big hole right here. We didn't even see it until it just swam up right in front of him. Mick did what everybody else in Pennsylvania does. He put a natural deluxe on there, and look at this, folks. I caught one in there. He's dancing basket. for the first time since his high school prom. Golden rainbow. I came 2,500 miles in the hopes of catching one, and here we are, the last day of the trip and I got into him. So here we are, we're uh, gonna go over our basic setup we're using here in Pennsylvania this week. Um, this barber here is one of the cheaper versions. They work, make do with them. It's not the bobber I choice. You want a longer, thinner bobber that stands up a little better, but in a pinch, it will get you through. So underneath your bobber, we run a split shop and you can adjust that with your bobber. So it slides to adjust to the depth of the water you're fishing. And below that, about a foot, we have another split shot that keeps your everything in line and balanced. And down below, you have a smaller split shot leading up to your hook. I prefer this split shot about six, eight inches above my hook. Now you can adjust this to each one of the different waters you're fishing. I've been up and down all day with this. And fortunately enough, we've uh, had a great successful day. And for me, it's all been mainly on the natural deluxe Potsky eggs. Now, when you put these on, uh, luckily enough, I got to come here to Pennsylvania and catch my dream fish, a wild brown trout and a golden rainbow trout. And both came on these eggs. And so for the golden, a single egg was all I used. And he started darting around and chasing that single egg and I knew possibly I had a chance. The German brown and the rainbow, 
They're a little meatier fish. They like a little more food on the table. So in that case, I put on three of the deluxe eggs, the natural deluxe, and you give them a lot more to choose from. A little more meat, and it covers up your hook nice. You leave just the point of the hook exposed, and you catch fish. Ooh, that's not a bad fish actually. Nice little Pennsylvania rainbow here on an orange fireworm. All right, last time, because this is the last fireworm we have. He's gonna show you how to rig it up here real quick. Pretty simple stuff. Just hooking it right in the middle. Gonna rig it wacky style. And just caught the last fish on it. And that's our last fireworm of the trip. I'm not fishing my mom. I'm just gonna sit with you. Double. Right over the top. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I did it. Nice rainbow trout, Pennsylvania style. One of our favorite things about coming to Pennsylvania is the total number of places that the PA Fish and Goat Boat Commission stocks here. Uh, they stock an endless amount of small creeks, rivers, lakes, ponds, you name it, all across the state of Pennsylvania. Now this is one of the many creeks that are stocked prior to the opener and then once during the season here in the state of Pennsylvania. Now we came out here today and we tried to hit a smaller body of water simply because the bigger body of waters just had so much fishing pressure. Now we did not expect to catch what we caught today. Mick actually ended up catching a really good quality wild brown trout. We didn't even know there were wild brown trout like this in here. It was a phenomenal day, and whether it was this brown trout that Mick caught or the golden rainbow he caught, all those fish came on natural deluxe salmon eggs. Now, you'll also see Tristan brought over and did the same thing. He used some natural deluxe as well, but he also, he tried something new. He used the good old red fireworm. It's brand new. And sure enough, he caught a ton of fish on that in the first hole before moving to the second hole and switching over to eggs. Now, Troy, he used premium Potsky salmon eggs. And to be honest, we missed a lot of the catches he got simply because Mick had such a monster brown on and a golden rainbow. We were focused on him and releasing these beautiful fish, beautiful fish so you guys could come catch them. Now, everybody knows the best time to fish in Pennsylvania, at least if you're going after fresh stalkers or places that have high volumes of fish will be April after the opener and then through the month of May. This was filmed in early May, regardless of when you're watching it. However, these techniques will work in Pennsylvania throughout the season and long after the season's over when most people go home. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.